It's West Indies and India at the WACA ground in Perth. We join it now in the fifth over, eight runs on the board. Patrick Patterson is the bowler and Srikant is taking strike. In the air, that's it. Out, fourth second slip. Hooper made that catch and he made it without any trouble at all. Two probably is the um, try there. They've changed their mind. Oh, no! Must be close. Just, uh, just got his back down in ground. Well, all sorts of action there. If Cummins had picked the ball up, he might well have had a run out. But he overran the ball. Mandrako overran the stumps. This is what the Indian batsmen have got to do, take a few risks. Maybe the way to get on top of the West Indies. There might be uh, a few injuries there. I think uh, Cummins has taken the skin off his bowling hand with Mother Teresa's order. Here at the Wacker, man going around to take the catch at mid-off. Tendulkar has gone. Nice deflection, beats back with square leg. Run hard here, this should be four, they don't need to. It runs all the way down the hill with the breeze. The first boundary in the 26th over, three for 57. That's out. Good catch, it was a wide delivery, went for it. And quickly the first, should be caught it easily. India reeling here at the Wacker at four for 58. This Ambrose really did deserve that uh, sort of reward. He bowled beautifully in his first spell. Not uh, one of his better deliveries there. But well taken by Brian Lara at uh, first slip. Oh, that's a great hit. Great straight drive. That's four. Oh, what a catch. It's a gem. Oh, first slip diving wide to his right. Ravi Shastri went for the drive. That's a superb catch. Second catch of the day, Brian Lara, and certainly the better of the two catches. Terrific effort there, diving away to his right. Nice little outswinger there from uh, Malcolm Marshall. Just moved uh, late. What a good catch there from Brian Lara. So India in all sorts of trouble as they lose Ravi Shastri. And now five men are down with the score at 74. In the air and gone. Unfortunate for India because really Kapil Dev would be the one man who would be able to turn around what has been a relatively ordinary performance so far into something resembling a decent total. There's a landmark which India have really struggled to reach. That would have been a magnificent catch. Been two splendid catches taken at slip by Brian Lara. This is Anderson Cummins bowling from the pavilion end. And uh, little deflections like that, or bat or pad, will uh, be very, very handy. And he's run out anyway. Well, it is a series of disasters here. Prabhaka run out. Quick work there by wicketkeeper Williams. Yeah. He hits his shot. Oh. And that's precisely what he did. Carl Hooper is the man. The risk of the quick single with Kieran Moray pushing down and uh, Emery running through, it needed a direct hit, and that is exactly what happened. And that is straight down the throat of the man at mid on. Problems there, another man out. Kieran Moray goes. I don't believe it. Really don't believe it. But I suppose you 
can't disbelieve the evidence of your own eyes. Mild remonstration between Srinath and Banerjee. That really has been the story of the Indian innings today. They've missed so many opportunities to take singles. He is one of them, and instead, they've lost a wicket. Welcome back. And uh, that last run out in the Indian innings typified all the things that went wrong with them out there today. 126 they made from 47.4 overs, almost a criminal offence, not about out your full 50 overs in these limited overs matches. Now, the openers for the West Indies, Desmond Haynes and Philo Wallace, and we join play right at the start. Dev, oh! the ball's away, he's gone, is he? Yes, what a breakthrough, one for none. Haynes out, cross behind, the perfect outswing, and what a great start for India. He's played it on, big in swinger, trying to cut, and Wallace drags it back into his stumps. We saw him attempt that shot early in his innings. Well, he's got to learn about the swinging ball and how to play it. That was a big end swinger and he was playing against the swing. New batsman is Brian Lara. He's gone, Richardson walking, not even worrying for the umpire to raise his finger. And Kapil Dev has struck a decisive blow for India. We have our match on our hands now as the West Indies are three for 25. He almost uh, lost his balance there, but he still got it far enough towards the boundary that they will run for here. And in fact, the ball just rolls across and goes into the fence. The other thing you need to do, apart from keep the ball up to the bat, is make sure you're well shod. There's a mix-up, yeah, if he hits it, oh no, he's got himself in a terrible tangle, and he may well have twisted his, his ankle. That's in the air, there's no one down there. And uh, if they keep going, they may get in three, which they do. Oh, he's got him, yes, he's got him, that's off the bat onto the stumps, and Sri has struck. This could still end up being an interesting contest. Well, it depends on how sensibly they bowl. They've got to keep at the batsman in the same way as Srinath has been doing it. He's inexperienced. This is his first game in Australia at limited overs level. So he is um, on strike now. Srinath the bowler. He's bowling! First ball, you little beauty! He's on a hat-trick, and I tell you, the Indians have come alive here at the Wacker. They certainly have, and uh, Keith Arthurton and Brian Lara, the two young bloods of the West Indian side, only one of them left now. That was the most perfectly pitched delivery. It started on leg stump, and uh, it hit the offside of the middle. Shavagal Shwinat is on a hat-trick. Get ready for a hat-trick. Three slips in a gully, a forward short leg, a leg slip. In goes Shwinat now. Will he do it? Oh, he's bowled it wide. Well, he's, he hasn't been around for long on his first game. He'll get another go at it. I can tell you something else. He bowled it fast. I think that is the fastest ball he's ever bowled in his life. It's uh, caught behind. Brian Lara's got a thick edge. Murray's done the rest of the work. Energy's a happy man. The Indians getting back into this game. Three quick wickets now has turned the game right around. There's Brian Lara flashing outside the off stump again. Ambrose, Cummins and Patterson to come. You would have to say that India are favourites to win, something that you couldn't have said when they were bowled out for 127, 126. That's in the air. It's just falling safe. It's a run. There's a run out. There's overthrows. It's all happening here at the Wacker. Well, I can't say that that shot deserved five runs. It's in the air. 
should be caught. Not easy in this sort of light, but he's taken the catch. Chris Rakanth from the bat pad position. He's pretty excited about it, as are his Indian teammates and the Indian supporters in the crowd. And I'm sure the Indian supporters watching on television in India are also delighted to be seeing what's happen happening here. David Williams, not quite so happy. That's gone. He's out, and it's now eight for 76. Good reward for some excellent bowling. That was the outswing, and it did him easily. Andy Cummings comes to the crease. Full pitch, and he's put that away. That's nicely timed. That'll go all the way for four. And he's off the mark with a one, wonderful square drive. Two wickets in hand. And he smashed that. That'll go away for four down the hill. Not quiet, it's just stopping. They should run four. So four all run. So a very good over for the West Indies. Nine runs off the over. It's eight for 89. And now Kapildev comes back to try and finish off the innings. No ball was the call, and he's hit it beautifully. And it's six. What an important shot that is. Takes them past the 100. Can't think he picked up the call all that quickly. I reckon he might have decided it was going to go anyway. Nothing in the back lift there suggested any change of mind. I think it was always going, Rich. 20 runs required for victory. 87 balls remaining. That's the way to deal with that 87. There are four bowlers. Here's a chance. And he's hit them, and he's been given out. Kirtley Ambrose run out with a direct hit by Shastri from mid-off. There was hesitation, and Kirtley is not a happy man. There wasn't much in it. It had to be a direct hit, I would say. There's the run, there's the hesitation, Shastri's left arm throw. And just out enough by about oh, half a metre. So it's a great throw, great fielding, which is what the Indians needed, 9 for 113. Tendulkar will be the first of the lucky part-timers. Straight to Srinath, that fine leg. Now, one good hit can do it. Well, Patterson's decided he can be a hero. Now, if they go flat out and get three, at least they've got the tie. So the tie is accounted for. So now they can't lose. All the field now are coming in. Oh, and has he caught him? Yes, he's caught him, and it's a tie. A terrific catch there by the skipper, Azaruddin. I tell you what, he had to uh, had to dive and got it just uh, centimetres from the ground. Anderson Cummins can't believe it. Well, that was great stuff from both teams. Very exciting and low-scoring game, and only the fourth tie in the history of limited overs internationals.